Hi, I'm Dr. Phil Parker, and today I'm talking about sleep. Sleep is a massive problem at the moment, particularly in lockdown. Uh, recent surveys found that so many people are suffering with sleep problems. So I thought I'd create a video to teach you how to start to sleep better. There's, there's two main reasons why sleep seems to be such a problem. First is just the natural stress, worry and concern that people have been having during this time, whether it's about their health, about finances, about future, about what the world's going to look like when we all get out of this situation. And this is combined with the fact that we're not as physically active. For most of us, we're stuck indoors a lot more time than we normally would be. And therefore, physically, we're not as tired. And, and, and these two factors really collude to make sleeping more tricky. So in this video, I'm going to talk you through a technique that's really, really useful to help you to sleep. And you can listen to it before bed, as you go to sleep. And each time you do, you'll find it will help you to feel more relaxed. There are other techniques that are available as well, and you'll find out more about those right at the end. Uh, but this one is for you to try on and see what a difference you can make to helping your body to get ready to sleep, to drift off to sleep easily, and to be relaxed during that transition process from being awake to being asleep. Obviously, as you listen to this, do it at a sensible time. Don't do it when you're driving a car because it will make you feel drowsy and sleepy, but you're sensible enough to know what to do. So when you're ready, just take a few moments and listen to the sound of my voice, paying close attention to the words, but also to the spaces in between each word. And as you do, I'd like you to begin this very simple but important exercise. First of all, measure your level of relaxation out of 10, where 10 is very, very deeply relaxed and zero is not very deeply relaxed. And notice where you are now. What level of relaxation you have now. And then I'd like you to focus on three senses. The sense of sight, what you can see. The sense of hearing. And the sense of sensations and feelings. And first of all, to select three things that you could see in the room that you're in at the moment. Now, if your eyes are closed or it's dark, just imagine three things that you could see. And all you have to do is just name them in your mind. So where I'm sitting, I can see the wall, the floor, the ceiling. Any three things. And then to shift your focus to three things that you can hear. That may be sounds outside, hummings, noises in the house, traffic outside, sounds of nature, or it could be your internal thoughts. It doesn't really matter. And just notice those three things. And then when you've done that, move on to three sensations or feelings that you're aware of now. That could be the feeling of what it feels like behind your left knee. It could be the frustration you're feeling at not being asleep. It doesn't really matter. Just notice three sensations or feelings. When you've done that, you switch to choosing two things in each of those three senses. So that's two things that you could see in the room. But they need to be different from the ones you've chosen previously. And then two other sounds that you're aware of. And surprisingly, you may find you're starting to run out of sounds, new different sounds. And if that's the case, then just think of a sound that you love to hear. Maybe the sound of waterfalls or ocean waves lapping on the shore. And then 
to other sensations or feelings and it tends to work best if you choose parts of your body to think about you don't normally think about like the feeling between you your big toe and your right foot and the one next to it or what it feels like at the back of your head and when you've done that you move on to the final stage which is just to select one thing in each of the categories so one thing that you could see Again, it has to be different from the ones you've chosen. One other thing you can hear and one other sensation you're aware of right now. So what I'd like you to do is just do the exercise now as you listen to the background music, focusing on three things you can see, hear and feel. Two things and then one thing. And it will work best if you don't use any examples I used. Take you between 30 seconds and a few minutes to do. And when you've completed that, taking your own time, just like you to re-score yourself on that scale between 10 and zero, where 10 is very deeply relaxed and zero is not very deeply relaxed. So do the exercise now. By now, you should have completed or nearly completed the exercise. Just check in with yourself and find out what score you are now on your scale of relaxation, where 10 is deeply relaxed and zero is not deeply relaxed. You should find that your level of relaxation has increased Now what I'd like you to do is to take a few moments to just flow back in time to a time when you felt even more relaxed than you do now. Somewhere that would rate an 8, 9, 10 or maybe an 11 on that scale. Just go back there now. And when you're there, notice the things you can see things you can hear and the things you can feel. Doing this exercise either by listening to me talking you through it or following the instructions which are quite easy to memorize will allow your body to relax so you can find it so much easier to drift from the pre-sleep state and flow into sleep itself. Now there are many other techniques that I can teach you and they're available in various audio programs. If you just go to the website philparker.org, you can find out more there. But as you listen to this and practice this exercise, you'll find you're becoming increasingly good at remembering how to get back to normal, healthy, sleepy patterns. And do leave a message, let me know what a difference this simple and powerful sleeping intervention has made for you. Sleep well.